The University of Exeter has been awarded more than a million pounds of extra money by the government to help with pioneering research into a new substance called graphene. Pay attention, this is the scientific bit. It's a single layer of carbon arranged like a honeycomb and it's so strong it would take an elephant balancing on a pencil to break a piece the thickness of cling film. Its commercial potential is huge, and if it does deliver even half of what's promised, it'll revolutionise our lives. Mobile phones that fold up like sheets of paper, for example. Well, our environment correspondent, Adrian Campbell, has been finding out more. These days, many of us are addicted to this kind of technology, smartphones. But if all of the research being carried out at Exeter University pays off, then we could be wearing computers on our clothing in the future. In fact, clothing could even be used to monitor our health in a much more sophisticated way than now. The future for this technology is bright, and it could revolutionise all of our lives. Graphene is invisible to the naked eye. It's been coated onto this piece of plastic, and as well as being one of the strongest substances on Earth, it's also one of the most electronically conductive. It has amazing properties and could eventually make the modern-day smartphone as redundant as these original mobile phones. The extra government money will be used to help develop a variant of graphene designed at the University of Exeter. Now it's all about thinking very small indeed. This is a pencil, and believe it or not, the trace that is left on a piece of paper, it's able to conduct electricity, and it is formed by many layers of graphene. What we are going to do here at Exeter is shrink the size of this object to a very small scale. In fact, take a look over here. And this is a probe electric needle. What we will do is uh, manufacture a graphene pencil a million times smaller than this needle to draw extremely small circuits. Invisible electronic pencils sound like the stuff of science fiction, but this kind of technology could enable us to spray electronics into any three-dimensional shape. So far we have been growing graphene uh, on large scale using this piece of copper which is flat and uh, we were throwing away the piece of copper and remaining with a, a graphene invisible mesh. Uh, it's hard to imagine. Uh, what we will do in the future in collaboration with the University of Bath, we are going to grow this invisible mesh on a three-dimensional objects. This invisible substance could hold huge commercial opportunities, which is why the government's so keen to support the research at the University of Exeter. Adrian Campbell, BBC Spotlight.